I'm sure you will have seen the famous prioritization matrix. And what this matrix says is that some things are urgent, some things are not urgent. And there's actually a sliding scale of urgency. And then some things are important and some things are not important. And again, there's a sliding scale of importance. And normally when you're shown this model, they say there are four boxes and box one, urgent and important, is the crisis box. Drop everything and do it now. By the way, sometimes boxes two and three are reversed because sometimes they put importance on this axis, urgency on this axis. It's the same model anyway. So it, the way I've drawn it, box two, urgent but not important, is the hassle box. So that's the sort of stuff you have to do straight away, but you want to minimise the time because um, it's not important. Box three, important but not urgent, is the plan ahead box. That's the kind of thing that because it's not urgent, you can choose when you do it. But because it's important, you want to put some time aside and make sure you do it. And then finally, box four is not important and it's not urgent. And they call that the don't do it box. And I think this model's great, but there are three changes I want to make to it. Three additions, three extra tweaks I would like to make to this famous model, if I may. And the first one is the meaning of importance. Because people tend to think that important means you have to do it, and not important means you don't have to do it. So something like buying food would be important, because if you don't do it, you'll starve. Or maintaining your car would be important, because if you don't do it, your car will break down and you'll be stuck. But I don't think that's a very helpful definition of importance. The first thing I want to talk about is the meaning of importance. I think a much more helpful definition of importance is that importance is not whether you have to do it, it's how long you spend on it. And I think if you think about it, that's what importance really means, how much time you spend on it. It works for money as well, by the way. If things are more important, we spend more money on them. Maybe it's clothes, cars, holidays, education of your children, whatever it is. If it's important, you'll spend more money on it. And really, you should spend more time on the things that are important as well. So I think importance is not whether you do it, it's how long you spend on it. And that's much more useful because really everything has to be done. You know, buying a food has to be done, but I don't think buying food's important because I don't want to spend lots of time on buying food. I don't want to spend lots of time maintaining my car. So I would argue those things have to be done, but they're not important. It's almost as if there are three columns here. There's things we want to maximize because they're important, Things we want to minimise because they're not important, like the buying of the food and the maintaining of the car. And then things we're not going to do at all. And there's pretty much nothing left in that column because these days we're all so busy. We've got rid of the I'm not going to do it at all column. So if your definition of importance is do I have to do it or not, then these are all one big column for you. And then you've got this column that's got nothing in. So I think it's much more useful to think of importance as, is it something I want to increase and spend more time because it adds value, or is it something I want to decrease? So that's the first clarification that I would like to add to this model. The second clarification is that box three is not just planning. I want to call it the plan and do ahead box. Because you can be doing things in box three. I would argue that having fun is really in box three. I think fun is important, it's something we want to maximise. Fun's not urgent, particularly you might put time aside. And there's a bit of planning there to put the time aside, to have a meal with your friends or book a tennis court or a golf day or something. But then when you're doing it, I think you're in box three. You're doing important things in a non-urgent way. I'm filming this video now in box three because it's important, it's something I want to do, but I don't have to do it right now. So I think it should be plan and do ahead. And there's much more in box three than just planning. And then the final distinction I want to make is I want to divide box four in half. And I think this is a really important one. Box four is not just don't do it. I think there's a whole load of stuff. So in a way, this not doing it one, you could argue sort of comes into there. But I think there's a whole lot of stuff in box four that you do have to do. So something like, for example, buying food, 
I think it's not important. It's not something we want to spend our life doing. You know, we don't have a life goal to maximize the time in the supermarket. When we die, we're not going to think, oh, I wish I'd spent more time in the supermarket. So buying food and housework, cleaning, that sort of thing, has to be done, but minimum time. So it's in this column. And it's not urgent. Now, you could leave it till you run out of bread and you have to go to the supermarket right now. Then it's a hassle. But I'd rather do it before that. So I think there's a category in box four that we do have to do. And because it's not urgent, we can plan ahead, decide when to do it, perhaps go to the supermarket on the way home from work or when we're in that area anyway. So we can plan ahead. And then because it's not important, we want to spend the minimum time on it. So taking housework as an example, we would plan when we do it. Perhaps we do the ironing while we're watching a TV programme or something. And then we spend the minimum time have a really efficient iron, do a batch of shirts all in one go, get them all done in the most efficient way. So box four divides into don't do it where there's very little and plan plus minimum time. So that's the third distinction I want to make. And I think that there's a lot of stuff in there. I've already mentioned housework and I've mentioned uh, buying food, but I would argue even going to the toilet, plan ahead, spend the minimum time. You don't want to wait till it's really urgent but we can't claim that it's important. We have to do it, but it's not something we want to maximize our time spending. We'd rather minimize the time. If we could press a magic button and delegate it, we would. So it's in box four. And things like filing at work are in box four. Plan it plus minimum time. A lot of paperwork, a lot of admin, really. We want to just plan it in. Don't leave it till it's a hassle, but spend the minimum time. <clears throat> so that's what box four really is. It's not just don't do it. So those are the three additional layers I would like to add to this famous four box model. The meaning of importance, box three is not just planning and box four is not just don't do it.